Hello and welcome back to the Margrave University area for our look at the uh, third new quest that's been added with the latest uh, update 67 expansion. Uh, unfortunately, I had recorded all three of them with our little group, the first look ones, but for some reason the, um, the third one, this one, was uh, not recorded properly so I'm having to uh, repeat it again on my lonesome with fools so apologies for that um, running the odd quest with my druid here uh, further to the little discussion in a prior video about the effects of the dragon uh, draconic uh, dragon breath nerf um, it has become apparent that the, the sort of AOE punch that that gave is uh, missed, but the other effect, um, because I'm leaning more heavily on the Tsunami now, that obviously costs uh, significantly more spell points than does the Dragon Breath. So I am a bit heavier on spell points as well, especially because I end up having to finish groups off more often with the uh, Ice Flowers, so more spell points there and or the, the two ruins, which are huge spell point uh, drains. So I'm having to be a bit more aware of that. It's not a huge deal, but it is, uh, it is something. So opinions in general, um, I think the three of us who, who tried yesterday were pretty impressed with the, the new content overall. There were some nice quirky little things added. The second one, the Fred's uh, date thing, that uh, section in the middle with the fairground and all that sort of had a feel of the uh, one of the Fialan thing, the Fialan quests about it, the was it the big top one where you go through a sort of a fair thing, and the uh, the first one, the many cooks, was quite nice too. It caught us out uh, big time at the end. We were all sitting there expecting a big fight and the quest just completed. I thought, oh, okay. And the, the loot as well. Um, <clears throat> I, I would not have expected, I don't think many would, to see um, set bonuses on on a, you know, a little, especially a freebie uh, expansion pack such as this one. So that's very nice, regardless of what you think of the, the bonuses. For people who, who don't have, um, you know, fully fleshed out end game gear, I'm sure there'll be some nice stuff to, to have a go at in there. So, fair play. Right, let's crack on and see what kind of a disaster we can make of this. I have, as mentioned, seen it uh, the once when we did our playthrough, so hopefully... I won't be um, too sucky in the what to do and where to go department. Soaring stone apartment building, tower above, one tiny dilapidated house. Gwen nods to acknowledge you as you enter the yard. <coughs> this one has a mechanic I haven't seen before either, the destruction of the uh, of many of the walls being possible to reveal other parts of the dungeon. If I do one thing here, I want to remember to be pressing the shard storm for the temporary hit points it's going to give. If I can do that, I'll be happy. As we can see there up in front of us, one of the breakable things. In fact, I think these are all breakable, aren't they? Angry spirits charge toward you. Where are Maybe they? Maybe this job won't be as easy as you first thought. Ah, okay. Come on. Okay. 
<clears throat> we've got some more down there. I don't actually know whether this ground-based crowd control is any good because they're all uh, ethereal, aren't they? So probably not. It's just kind of standard practice for me with uh, these kinds of opponents. Uh, any excuse to use the treasured... Uh, What's it called again, this thing? Fairy fire. I think I've probably missed some things down here, so let's uh, keep searching around here. <coughs> no, can't get through there. The, although severely nerfed, the um, new Dragon Breath is at least on a slightly shorter cooldown, so it matches up nicely with Tsunami, which is nice. What's happening here now? Are we going through there? No. Nope. Here. You have completed the agreed upon renovations. Now to investigate the strange behavior right. of the undead. Does that mean we've done everything we're supposed to up down here? Possibly. Not all that glitters is gold. <coughs> okay, so let's head on upstairs then. No, I count the hours until I am allowed to hunt again. You notice a translucent figure. Okay, here we go. Hi, everybody. Oh, I know this one in the corner we've got to. Oh, okay. That his undead housemates have become gain the aid of non violence. Now, one of the party said something about talking to a, a pan in the house. Oh, can we talk there? No, yeah, they definitely said something about talking to a something in here I can't remember what it was oh we're going down here now are we okay no this is where we just came from isn't it you muppet okay Is it? Yeah, definitely where we just came from. Oh lord. Yeah, this is the point at which I started running around like a headless chicken, utterly lost in here. Ah. Okay. Yeah, my crowd control is pretty useless against these things, fortunately. Anything in here? Nope. <coughs> well, 
as I don't seem to have learnt maybe nothing from the first playthrough we did. Perhaps this will count well enough as a first look. Is there anything in there? No. Can't go in there, can we? Can't. You oh! The door with all your might, but to no avail. Suddenly, you hear a giggling sound behind you. Ah, right. That's the pan they were talking me. about. Okay. So now, do we? What do we go down now? How did we get down in the? In the basement. I think we went we went out the front door at one point, but I don't think it's here. <coughs> <coughs> Not there. We do have to speak to that one, but this man introduces himself oh, as maybe. Miles Long, a real estate broker. He's been trying to convince Gwen to sell the house for a tidy profit, but she remains determined to stay. Miles had hoped the undead would scare her away, but was surprised to hear that she has befriended them instead. So we've still got to find a way into the basement. I think we've already spoken with you, haven't we? Yeah. There's an apparition here, but we don't seem to be able to speak here. There's a dot there on the map. I don't know if that's of any significance. This is just going back to where we came from. So how do I get in the basement? Ah! Let's have a look for some more of these uh, apparitions if we can find. That looks promising. Mm, all right, I'll let you into the basement. The apparition concedes. But be careful down there. It's really now there was scary. a basement door, wasn't there somewhere here? Uh, this one. Now prove yourself worthy of having a dragon at your side. The rickety stairs creak as you make your way down into the basement. Your sense of dread grows with each step. The tang of mildew. Okay. You descend the final steps into the basement. Shadows. This is not a cold plan to extinguish this dreadful thing. A great, incharged world. it doesn't reset if I go too far away. Run, 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 run! Don't die! <clears throat> Got him. Then dissipates into nothingness. You spot an object in the dark corridor behind where it appeared. You find a strange tablet behind where the wraith appeared. The object gives off get way down. Fast legs yes, the walls live I remember this right. from when we did our playthrough. We that seems to be like the end and the end boss, and yet you maybe because we did something out of order. But no, I think you have to do something you have to go back and then maybe outside the house as well to actually complete the quest, which seems a bit strange. It doesn't end with the uh it doesn't end with the killing of the what is essentially the end boss uh, where's upstairs there 
Why are my wings not working? Where's the... That should be a... Oh, anyway, the quest is nearly finished, so let's not worry about that. Gaspar doesn't recognize the strange traffic. So, back outside, uh, we don't have a deed, or do we? Strangely ...before Gwen purchased the house. Perhaps you should see whether this real estate broker knows more. There's the front door. There we go. And I think that's it. So it does strike me as a little strange. There's this running around, a bit like when the quest is complete, um, but there's still a puzzle to do. Uh, to complete the quest. The shady real estate broker proved to be so that that seems a bit strange that it shouldn't sort of end. At, oh, there is a there is a chest at the end as well. So there are two chances at named loot in this one. Okay. Well, we got there in the end. Sorry for all the uh, wandering around. I don't think it's too bad that one. It's a little bit different. And yes, a bit of a challenge for the um, crowd control -y types because there was nothing I had there that was going to stop all the ethereal stuff. And on that happy note, I will thank you all very much for looking. And I'll go and try and correct what's happened to my uh, wings. For some reason, it's on the wrong button at the moment. Speak to you next time. Take care.